Okay, let's start. So, good day guys. So, I'm going to show you um, this uh, this another part of my vlogs regarding on GPO on Windows Server 2016. So, I'm going to show you how to filter um, specific uh, groups when it comes to GPO. So, let's say um, you created a group of uh, organization. Let's say sales, like this one. Okay? I created na, na organiza organizational unit and I name it sales. So, this time, I create a client, sales client and sales manager. So, I have here users. This is Ruelda. And then sales, which is Michelle as manager. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> in sales, I created uh, two groups, which is sales manager na nakalagay na dito sa sales manager natin. I see Michelle. Yan, yung ating member, Michelle. That's the manager. And then our client is Rowelda. Okay. So, here it goes. In group policy or GPMC, group policy management, I created na rin na isang group uh, policy na which is sales policy. Kung makikita natin yung details, uh, uh, settings, detail settings, uh, kung, kung, saan, kung saan siya ginawa eh, from uh, user configuration, then uh, policies, then here we're going to administrate templates. Then you uh, start start menu on task bar. Dito, uh, lock, ang ginawa natin for the sake of demonstration, I created a policy which is lock the task bar. Ibig sabihin, pag nag-right click tayo dito sa, sa task bar, like this one, are, ito, unhighlighted na. Okay? Let's do this. So, I already created it and i i already use uh, authenticated users for filtering ibig sabihin yung settings down ng gpo nito pagka uh, filter natin ay pupunta do sa mga groups users and computers ng particular groups na ginawa ninyo so okay so in here just to double check in here delegations Authenticated users read from security filtering to double check it, click advance, and then authenticated users read and apply group policy. Dapat ito may check. Kasi kung wala itong check, yung inyong uh, pagkakagawa doon sa policy yun, hindi mag-propagate or magre-replicate doon sa inyong users or clients. Okay? So this time, yung scope natin, uh, babaguhin natin. Ito yung filtering. Itong authenticated users, tatanggalin natin. So, before that, I will show you muna na ito ay replicated na sa dalawa natin clients. Like here, this one is Michelle, which is the general uh, sales manager, and this one is the client. Rowelda. So, right-click natin. Wala na yung task manager. Task uh, lock. Nakalaan na yung unheaded na yung lock task bar. So from here, uh, ah, ito pala ay ano? CMD. Ito pala siya na uh, GP update. Guys, itong GP update ah, once na nagkaroon kayo ng ano, ng ng changes sa group policy niyo, pwede niyo uh, i-command ito sa users, sa clients para mag-update yung group policy na ginawa ninyo doon sa inyong server. Ayan. Ayan. Katulad nito, pareho sila ng uh, nakalaktas bar na. So, since na same na, so I'm going to show you na tanggalin natin itong authenticated users and we created and we add, uh, create and we add uh, another uh, filtering kung saan siya makapunta. Ibig sabihin, from these groups na ito, 
since na si manager ay dapat meron siyang lactas bar, si sales client ang dapat natin gagawin na walang tas la lactas bar. Okay? So, from here, papasok natin yung ating mismo group. Kaya, filtering. Group filtering. GPO. Group filtering. Yan. So, it means na once na create natin itong command na to, si sales client lamang ang magkakaroon ng ganong policy yung lactas bar. Si sales manager dapat hindi. Okay yung kanyang last, uh, lactas bar. So, check natin sa delegations. Ulit, sales client, advance, then sales client, check, and apply group policy. Okay. So, may kita naman natin dito, read from security policy filtering. Okay, yes. Okay. So, ito yung ating sales, ito yung ating manager, then ito ating client. Okay, so we're going to, ano muna natin ng, uh, sa manager. GP update. Then, CMD. Ding a ring. GP update. So that's it. It's going to check the manager. Kung siya okay. Right click. Yun. Clickable na yung taskbar sa kanya. Okay. Like this one. Nung nag update na. Tingnan natin. So yun. Ganun pa rin. So. Kung makikita ninyo. Nagkaroon lang ng, ng security na sa, par, sa, sa part ng sales client na group. The rest, although iisa siya sa sales na yon, kung makikita nyo, like this one, i-create natin siya sa sales. Ibig sabihin, buong sales yan. Si clients at si sales manager dapat makareceive niyan. So since natin filter natin na um, magkakaroon lamang ng security for that ay si sales client. Si sales client na nakareceive. Although si, si, si sales manager ay nasa loob ng sales organizational unit, hindi siya nakareceive nun since na-filter natin si client lang. Okay? So, yun. Yun lang yung ating ano sa group sa um, GPO filtering uh, just to show you kung paano siya uh, gumagana. Okay? So that's it. Thank you guys. Uh, next time naman ay may more on group policy pa rin tayo. Thank you guys.